hello and welcome to my channel. This week I'm sharing with you what it looks like when you have to run to the grocery store every day because you didn't plan your groceries, make a list, or actually get to the store and buy anything. So thanks for coming along with me as I do three mini hauls instead of one big haul. But that's life sometimes. Here we go. Hey everyone, I just got done doing a grocery shop at Aldi's. I'm sitting in my car getting ready to go back to work. I decided that I would run into Aldi's on my lunch break. I get an hour and so that's how I spent my day because I didn't want to have to go to the store after work and with the busy weekend with Easter and birthdays and everything I knew I needed stuff and we're kind of like feeling like we want salads for dinner just because we had so much candy and sweets and everything with Easter. So I ran into Aldi's and I'm pretty happy with what I got there. Sorry to check out what's going on. Um, the weather is crazy. I got a sunburn yesterday sitting out in the on the deck with the grandkids and the kids and uh, doing the Easter egg hunt and all that. And then today it's snowing. I think we have a, a mixture of snow and rain right now, but it's a little nuts. I hope it clears up soon. This is no fun at all. This is the middle of April. I'm ready for spring. Oh wow, I just saw a squirrel fall out of a tree. It was pretty funny. Anyway, gotta get back to work now. Next, I'm going to just real quick show you what I picked up at Aldi's. I have a couple of different salad dressings, a pineapple, some of this popcorn chicken, a bag of mini avocados. We have a cantaloupe there on the side. Um, let's see, I have the Italian like Olive Garden dressing. We have a pack of green peppers and uh, cherry tomatoes. Uh, these were so good by the way and so I couldn't get my green bell peppers last week so I made sure I got them at Aldi when I saw them there and then I picked up a bag of this buffalo chicken strips in the red bag at Aldi's that was the only kind that they had left so I got them got a dozen eggs and a couple of bagged salads and some croutons and some cheese the bananas were super, super green, but I got them anyway. They'll be ready someday. And then some honey crisp apples. My husband has already gotten into these. And so that was my little, this is my little mini haul from Aldi's. I have a bag of green beans and yeah, not much, but that's what I got from Aldi's.
So here is my mini haul from Sam's Club. This is what I got. It's not much, but it did come to $88. So this is what $88 will get you at Sam's. I got a pack of stew meat, some bread, a big chub of ground beef, two Generoso's chicken, and some roast beef. And that is it. Hi, it's me. I'm back at it again. I'm in my car on my lunch break and look my view right now <laughs> so i just wanted to pop on here because that's what you do when you have free time and you're sitting in your car right you pick up the camera and start um adding footage to your grocery haul vlog i guess but anyway that's what i'm doing i um just wanted to say that this week has been a little different for me i did not manage to get a grocery haul done ahead of time and ready for the week so this is what it looks like when you go to the store every day and i guess many of us have the option of going after work or doing it like i am on my lunch break so is it ideal no not really is it horrible not really just because i do have a whole hour for lunch so i also work in an area where there's a lot of grocery stores and places that i can run in and pick up some stuff so all i did was throw a cooler into my trunk and if i needed to put something in there to keep cold until i get out of work then it's there and that's going to be how it is this week and that's just because we don't all have our stuff together and we're not all perfect in a perfect world <clears throat> groceries would just magically appear at my house and i'd have um so many options but i'm a busy working mom and i get tired i get sick we all do so it is what it is i mean some days you got your stuff all together and you you meal plan and you meal prep and all that stuff and then some days you have 10 pounds of ground beef in your trunk and a cooler on your lunch break <laughs> so that's what i'm doing today so today is um I'm going to do a Dollar General grocery haul because this week I've gone to Aldi's and I've gone to Sam's and so I did produce and things like that at Aldi's and I did meat at Sam's and I'm just going to get odds and ends at Dollar General. Things like cereal and maybe some pasta, things like that. Things that are... I don't know just the fill-in stuff because I want to be able to make a whole meal and not like oh we're gonna have <laughs> ground beef uh, and that's it um, I probably need to pick up some cheese too so other than that we're gonna just call it good I know that we need some coffee creamer things like that we'll see and of course I'll show you what I get it's only a week and maybe next week will be my week to really have my life together but right now sitting in my car getting ready to go back to work and uh just doing that very last uh grocery haul it'll be a dollar general one and hopefully i get some good bargains my total from dollar general was 28 dollars. i picked up some canned oranges some cream of mushroom soup baked beans a couple cans of spaghettios with meatballs mac and cheese and three boxes of cereal i also got some fruit and gel jello whatever that is and then a couple boxes of spaghetti and that is all for my shelf stable items and now i'm going to share my meal plan for the week using what i bought on Monday, we had a really quick throw together tortellini and sausage skillet type of meal. Tuesday, using leftovers is chili. On Wednesday, the menu plan calls for General So's chicken. Thursday, we'll be ordering pizza in. And Friday will be crock pot beef and noodles. Thank you so much for watching this week's grocery haul and meal plan. If you liked it and you had fun today, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Bye for now.